Hello and welcome to a review of Nendroid number 991, Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. So I think this might be my first Nendroid review on the channel. I have a few but I've never reviewed them. Um, and today's one, we're kicking it off because I do have a few uh, lined up along with some Figmas actually that I've had in storage for quite a while but I can finally display them so I'm sharing them with you. And today we have one in, man this is one of the coolest boxes. Um, a lot of Nendroids, most of them really, come in white boxes. I don't fully understand. I mean, Kuro is black, I guess. Kurosaki. I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll take a quick look at the box and then obviously I'll open it up and we'll take a look at what is inside. So, start off, you can see the Bleach logo there and Good Smile, who are the producers of Nendroids. This is 991. I don't know how many Nendroids we're up to now because this is about two years ago this came out. Uh, on the side we've got the various poses, you can put them in, we've got uh, with Zangetsu out during after his Bankai and um, him with Kon there. On the back we've got a few more and stuff and on this side as well uh, another kind of few shots showing off uh, the different expressions and stuff and on top we have that picture and on the bottom we have Shock Digital. Um yeah, there's not much more to say about the box itself, other than I really, really dig the colour, but I'll stop stop gushing about cardboard now, and um, I'll go ahead and open him up, so BRB in a second. Alright, I'm back, I've uh, pulled him out, I've, as you can see I've done a few things with him as well, put him in a particular pose, and uh, arranged all the extra bits he comes with. So. I'm going to go through the bits first and then we'll take a look at Ichigo himself. So, comes with obviously the first thing is, I think this is for the head joint, um, just in case it snaps or whatever. It's, it's pretty basic, I think it comes with every Nendroid. So, there's that. Oh. Now, the second one is quite interesting uh, and I'll actually show you. So, here's a jump cut. So, this comes with a special kind of piece that you can put on your stand. So, as you can see here, this is the standard uh, end. However, if you want to put uh, wrapped Sangetsu on uh, Ichigo's back, there is a hole through him, and obviously that hole leads to the hole in the back of Ichigo. Now, obviously, that is going to be quite too short, so, very smooth, uh, so you need to replace it with this. And uh, just in case you do buy this, it's as easy as twisting this off, as in like you literally put it off, and putting this on. I know it's longer, it can go through Sangetsu. And technically, I guess you could use this for Ichigo as well, but he'd be sticking out on it a lot. Um, so I'm not going to put him in a ton of poses during the video, but as is customary, I am going to put lots of pictures at the end. So if there's a customization option that you know you kind of wish you could see, there's a decent chance I'll have him there. Uh, so next up, the very basic uh, one. The, there's nothing. Uh, too involved with it is Con. Uh, obviously, Con, the mod soul that uh, Ichigo kind of puts his. No, it is where he keeps the mod soul when it's not inhabiting Ichigo's body when he's in the Shinigami realm. So, um, yeah, Con is very nice. Obviously, he's not articulated or anything. He comes with his own base, um, and this kind of. Uh, stand, I mean, to be fair, you know, he can go in a lot of different poses and stuff. I think it's probably meant to just be like that or whatever. It's also got the stitching on the back that Ishida did, so kudos to details there, because that's like, that's something you'd probably never see, but, um, you know, he, he, he's still got that and stuff. And yeah, he's perfectly detailed, he's a nice little extra to have with Ichigo, honestly. Um, when I saw this, I was kind of convinced like oh okay I'm gonna get this now. Uh, right so next up we have got the legs apart kind of pose so as you can see with Ichigo as he is he's kind of standing in a neutral position actually I'm gonna put him back in the stand there we go he's back so yeah so that's a neutral stance there and uh, the legs obviously are when you kind of want the more action poses um, so you do have to swap out the legs as well at the bottom. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not the worst. Um, yeah, decently detailed and stuff. Very nice. He's got layering. Uh, obviously, he's in his uh, Soul Reaper outfit, which is nice too. 
So then we've got five arms. So the first one to describe is this one. So these go together, um, and I think when you put them on him like that, it looks like he's crossing his arms, basically. Uh, alone, they look very strange, especially that one. It looks like he's got a weird stumpy or chibi arms, but you know. Uh, so the next ones then is we have this one, which is kind of like an open hand thing. I think is uh, when you put meant to put it above the sword, as if like you know he's focusing it for a get attention show or something. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. You know we've got a bit of the cloth kind of flowing and stuff as well. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna move this because it keeps focusing on that. Um, next up. We have a kind of uh, closed fist kind of thing. Uh, so I think this is meant to go behind. So he'd hold it on his shoulder there and he'd put the sword behind him. Uh, if you want unwrapped uh, Zangetsu, kind of doing the uh, sword wielding shonen protagonist thing. And then we've got, um, so this is his neutral arm, which I've replaced actually. So this is not as exciting, but yeah, just kind of you know, is is just down on his side. So then we've got the faces. The first one, this is his neutral face. I've switched it out, but I, I do actually quite like this neutral face. Um, I may switch it back. Obviously, as with all Nendroid faces, they're easy to slot in and stuff. And we've got the shocked face uh, and even a bit of sweat there, which is really cool. I really like this one. I don't know if I'd like display it, Necessarily, unless maybe I had some other bleach and androids, uh, Kenpa. I don't think they've made a Kenpachi, but that would be amazing. Um, yeah, to just put him in like in reaction to that, but on his own, I don't think I'd display him like this. But this is his shocked face when you know someone shows their spiritual pressures far exceeding his or whatever. And the last one is wrapped Zengetsu. Um, so obviously, this is how. He appears, his sword appears rather, um, outside of his Bankai, just in regular form. I really like this, I don't know why, but wrapped swords are really cool to me, even though they don't make a lot of sense. But yeah, um, I mean, technically speaking, you could display this on his back and have him wielding Zengetsu. I'd be very confusing, uh, but you know, that is an option. And now I'm going to move these to the side and we'll take a look at Ichigo himself. Okay, here he is. So, um, we'll start from the bottom and go up the top. So, he's got, actually I can move him like this. He's got pretty standard feet uh, that kind of crush them there. But yeah, um, obviously those are pull, you know, you can pull them out to do the uh, wide-legged things. Um, really dig in the details and stuff. Um, he's, he's not a super detailed character in general, to be honest, because he's just all wearing black. Uh, that's his standard other arm, obviously on the left. We've got his red kind of sash thing that he wears a lot and is where he attaches Zangetsu, I do believe. And yeah, got the collar and stuff. And around the back, the uh, sash continues. And obviously that's the hole you put him in. As with all Nendroid, it's really simple and stuff. And then we've got the face. So this uh, is the face I chose, which is kind of his battle face, I'm presuming. Um, it's very nice, as with the others, you know, really quite detailed and stuff. And then we get the hair. I'm a big fan of the hair as well. Um, obviously very orange. I hope it's coming across as, like, suitably orange on camera. Uh, in real life, it is quite nice. And it's got a bit of shading, too. Not, like, super vivid, but, you know, the, the tips are a little bit lighter than the middle and stuff. And then we get onto the Zangetsu itself, or himself, technically. Uh, really, really happy with this. Very thin, obviously. Um, you know, it's not a hefty piece of plastic, but it, it wouldn't make sense if it was, really. Handle is quite nice and long and stuff. You do you do have to be a, bit, a little bit gentle to push it through the opening of the hand, but I don't think it's going to snap or anything. Now, <laughs> then we get to this part. This is a separate piece. Uh, I'm going to take it off. Because, as you can see, you slot it... Uh, at the end of Sangetsu there. And, you know, it, it's a really cool flowing piece of cloth or whatever. It's obviously what kept it wrapped uh, pre-Bankai. 
The only downside is this does fall a lot off a lot. Um, it's a little bit fiddly because the hole to put it in is so so small um, and it's kind of hard to manoeuvre because it depends where you've placed the arm and stuff. Some things look I mean, it looks kind of natural wherever it is because, you know, it's cloth. But it's, yeah, it, it can fall off a lot, so do be wary of that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put him back now and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And then, as I said, I'm going to show off the different varieties of it. You go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that now. Here's a small slideshow. Slideshow? Slideshow of. The various types of, you know, pauses and stuff, you can put it to go in yourself if you buy this. So, BRB, after this, this montage. Alright, I am back. So I've had a bit of fun with the uh, pauses, as you can see. Uh, there's quite a lot of variety, to be fair, uh, especially because he's kind of a bit of a standard Nendroid, as it were. I mean, he's got a lot of different parts, but there's not there's not a ton of variety going on in terms of what you can really do, if that makes sense. Um, because this is based on early-ish Ichigo in Bleach, I do believe. So one thing I was a little bit disappointed with, and I feel like maybe I saw an image of, and it may have been exclusive to buying through the Good Smile store, but one thing I do kind of wish is maybe they'd have either a hollow uh, face or like a part hollow or something. And maybe, you know, a hand to like put on his face as he is concerned that he's turning hollow. But, I mean, those, those are kind of nitpicks, and they're just things I'd prefer, as opposed to actual criticisms for the Nendroid itself. And, to be fair, it's been a while now, there may very well be a hollow uh, Ichigo out there. If so, I'll keep an eye out, and I may end up buying it anyway. But, back to this one. So, Nendroid number 991, Ichigo Kurosaki. Is he worth buying? If you're a Bleach fan, I think absolutely. Um, the kind of reason I bought this, to be honest, is I really enjoyed Bleach. And to be honest, Ichigo, I think, is my favourite character, which is quite a rare thing to say about uh, shounen anime, because a lot of the time the main character is intentionally a little bit of a blank slate, uh, you know, because the viewers all want to identify with that person. But... Ichigo, I think, throughout Bleach was one of the strongest characters. He had a really interesting arc and everything, and that's why I really wanted a figure of him. Really digging the fact Con comes with him. I know it's not a big thing, and you wouldn't really buy an Android just for one little uh, accessory. But I think it does make it, you know, uh, it stands out a little bit. In terms of the poses he can pull off, whilst he is mildly limited and it's either battle or preparing for battle... I do like the variety. The faceplate, the shocked one, I'm not massively digging, but I do kind of like his battle one and the mildly smug kind of standard face that I've got on him now. I think when I display him, I'm probably going to use this pose. I really dig it. It's very, like, powerful and strong and stuff. And as I mentioned, I really like Zangetsu when it's wrapped up. Uh, however, I would say that there's not really any nitpicks. I think the biggest one probably is the tassel on Zangetsu because when I was taking these photos this fell off about five or six times. But to be honest once you've settled on a pose I can't see that really being an issue. And yeah that's about it really. I can't think of a ton more to say. It's a really solid Nendroid. In terms of the accessories I think it does go above a fair few others. I do love the fact that you can have him more in a battle pose with his um, lower half and stuff. It's a, it is a bit finicky taking the legs out uh, and putting them in here because they're kind of like, well, cylindrical and tapered at the end with the feet. 
does feel a little bit awkward pulling at the feet because you don't want to break it. But you know, they, they pop off and fits into this just fine. Oh yeah, I, I think this is definitely going to be one of my favourite Nendroids in my collection of four. Um, yeah, because he's, he's just kind of striking. You know, he, he's fairly simple in terms of character designs. He's not overly complex. I love the fact he comes in the Reaper clothes as well. I don't really know what else he'd have come in. But yeah, absolutely digging that. And yeah, the fact he comes with two swords as well, that you can have it either wrapped up or bankied, is really nice. And the arm, the arm options are really cool as well. That about wraps up my review. It's been quite a short one, but I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, let me know below if you got one of these, um, or if you've got any of the other Bleach ones. I know that Toshiro has a, an Android, and I'm assuming Rukia has one. Uh, so um, maybe in the future I may potentially think of getting those, but Ichigo is definitely the one I really wanted. And yeah, uh, as I mentioned at the start of the video, do stay tuned because I have quite a few Nendroids and a few Figmas that I'm going to start making videos on very soon because I now have display cabinets I can actually put them in. So expect a deluge of those. Some of these kits are okay, kits. Some of these figures are quite a few years old now, so um, might be cool to see. Uh, you know, and let me know if you like my Nendroid reviews and if I should keep doing them because if they're boring to people, there's not much point doing them. And that wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist for other like figure reviews and stuff and like a random mystery video that the YouTube algorithms decide on or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's it. So until next time, goodbye.